Okay, uh, so as I said, good morning, guys. We're still 11 people. So Yasin wants to share his uh, project with us. Yes. You can open the camera, Yasin. Do you know how to do that? Your friends just joined us. Okay, hey, guys. So we still have. Okay, uh, I want to spotlight your uh, camera. Just give me a minute uh, to spotlight for everyone. Okay, can you guys see uh, the um, yes. project done by a scene? Can, can everyone yes. see it? And it's not touching the bottom. And it's what? Not touching the bottom. Yes. Bottom of the jar. So wait for Abdul Rahman Tanahi. He's joining us. Maybe he wants to see that. Okay, Tanahi, if you are with us, uh, we are sharing the project done by Yasin. Yasin started the project already. So we will, uh, you know, see the results with uh, Yasin before we start uh, doing it ourselves. Okay, Yasin, that's right. That's correct. It's not supposed to touch any of the sides or the bottom. Do you guys get the idea of this project? You know, uh, this solution or this liquid contains sugar dissolved in it. Okay. And uh, did you warm up the water, Yasin? I first uh, uh, put a little bit of uh, stick in the water. Yes. And uh, I put the sugar mm -hmm. because my sugar was not ta uh, taking it one time. So I left it uh, 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 five minutes uh, to take the sugar. Yes. Then... Uh, uh, I put uh, I put two cups of water and uh, six cups of uh, sugar, mm. and uh, and I stir it. And then I uh, I put it in water. Uh, I uh, and I put the water and I put the color, and then I uh, get out the stick, and uh, and put it so, and yes. uh, I. But I, yes. I, covered this with plastic I mean, I can, I can, see, I, I can see some sugar at the bottom. That's why I was asking you: Did you uh, dissolve all the sugar in the water? Uh, I, I dissolved okay, so it. Yes, but you did that. On accident, I when I was putting, so the sugar uh, uh, fell from me. Okay, it's okay. So, guys, the idea behind this project uh, is that, um, you know, this water, uh, I'm sorry, this solution or this liquid, uh, we call it solution, of course, because there's something dissolved in it. So, um, the idea behind this one is that when the liquid is did there, you know, all of you, that the water will evaporate eventually, right? Uh, so when the water evaporates, this is the liquid water. Uh, I'm sorry, the fresh. I'm sorry, the fresh water evaporating. So when the fresh water evaporates, we're still left with whatever was dissolved in there. So we know that it's sugar, right? So the sugar will harden or be, become solid again. Okay. So this is the idea behind uh, this uh, project. Okay, guys, do you understand it? Yes. Yes. Do you like? Yes. You like it? Yes, of course. I like that you started it, but it's okay, guys. If you didn't start it yet, we said we are going to start this uh, uh, on Wednesday. But thank you, Yasin. Uh, you will give us, you know, like more ideas about that. Thank you so much, Yasin. Um, okay, guys. So as I said, you now understand the idea behind this project. Yes. 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 Uh, do you guys still have any questions before starting the video? I said we will watch. Mm. Okay, so I will. We will watch the video now. Let me share my screen. Can you guys see my screen now? I have a question. Yes. 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 Who has Who has a question? Yes. Hello, mm -hmm. yes, uh, Why did they put sugar on the lollipop stick? Well, you put a sugar on the lollipop stick so you can create a, a hard surface for the sugar to attach itself to it. Okay, so you need something hard so the sugar can be attached to it because if there's no sugar in there, the, the, the sugar particles in the water will not be attracted to the stick. So they will just harden in, you know, in, on the surface of the glass 
uh, water if you're you're having a water of you know the the glass itself not to the lollipop you know that's why you need something that can attract or attach the 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 sugar particles once they harden to it this is why you need it okay uh, what will happen if i made it touch the 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 cup if you, if you made it what if I, you if made I it without the stick? No. If I made the lollipop, touch the jar. I can't hear you. Come again, please. To touch uh, the jar. You, you let the lollipop touch the glass? You mean the sides and the bottom? Is that yes. what you see? Yes. yes. What will happen is that when you, will, you need to come and take it off after finishing your project, they will be attached in, to the glass itself and they will be hard to uh to take off okay so and maybe they will break they will cause the lollipop stick to break remember these are called rock candy rock candy because they're so hard once they uh, they become solid the sugar becomes really hard that's why we call it rock candy so if you let it touch the sides or the bottom of the glass Eventually, when you finish this project, you will be having a lollipop attached to the glass, and that's it. This is the project. When you try to take it off, maybe it will be so hard that it will break the lollipop, as I said, or maybe it will break the glass itself, or you will not be able to take it off unless you dissolve the sugar again into water. And in this case, you will be losing the project. Now you will not have any project anymore. That's why we say don't let it touch any of the sides so you can have it free. Do you get it now? Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, okay. So, guys, now we will watch a Miss video. Yes. Miss Alora, the stick didn't touch that. Well, I can, I can, I cannot hear you. Who's talking? Miss, yes. the first thing that I will boil the water, and next I will put the two cup of uh, sugar, and next I will leave the. You don't the have to boil water the water before. first. No, you don't, you don't have to boil the water first. You can add the sugar before boiling. You can add the sugar before boiling. Yeah. Is this all day? Yes. yes. Watch yes. the video. Watch the video on SMS. Uh, yes. Watch the video on the SMS all day so you can understand the steps again. And I uploaded the PowerPoint for you guys to watch also with all the steps yes. in it. Okay. So. Um, Yes, and there are two uh, extra videos for you guys uh, made by other people that are trying to make this candy. So you can uh, watch this one too, okay? okay? Miss, and we can search also, yes? You can search also, yes, but you will find a lot of recipes. Like, um, you don't know if they are going to be, you know, available for That's you it. guys or not. So maybe I can show you on the smart school now. Let me just share the smart school now. <clears throat> Give me a minute. I'll sign in. Different passwords. Let me stop sharing this one. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. So just give me a minute. It takes time to sign in because we have a long password, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so you know that. You know, all of you know that. Miss, but I uh, you know my password. I can write it right now. Yes, I know it too, but like sometimes I just forget it. I don't know it. Oh, my yeah. It's a very, it. very long one. Okay. Um, here it is. So I will share my screen again now. Can you guys see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So here is, here is, you will find it in the library. Where grade five, term two, you will find a folder. Yeah, we are they called projects. Yes, you will find two uh, two videos of, uh, of how to make uh, the rock candy, and you will also find a link to send candy. you to a page where uh, the recipe is made into steps. Okay, 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 okay. yes. So, guys, Let's now we can, watch, we can watch the video now. So we can move a little bit yes. faster. Uh, when I finish, can I use this water again? Or no, or no, no, you cannot use the water again. Just try to make an, uh, 
a new project, but you cannot use the water again. It will be actually a hard one because all the water will evaporate. This is again the idea behind the project, guys. All the water will evaporate, so you're only left with the sugar and maybe a little amount of water. So you'll need to uh, redo the project if you want to make a new one. Okay, do not use the water again. You will not, you will not also have any water left. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you guys still have any questions about the project part? Yeah, okay. okay. Now you guys know that we finished chapter seven lesson one uh, last week. Do you yes. have any questions about it? No. Okay. Remember the unique properties of minerals. We had four properties, if you guys remember, forming double image, being magnetic, fluorescence, and having electric charge. Remember the double image was a special property of calcite, if you guys remember, because yes. it bends the light in a certain way that you can see uh, a double Maybe. image, uh, yes, of whatever behind it. You also learn about being magnetic, like uh, the magnetite, which is a type yes. of mineral that attracts uh, uh, metals to it. Miss, you are lagging. No, no. Okay, maybe there is a problem with the internet connection, guys, but like it's working fine for me now. No, just the. Any, anyway, uh, guys, anyway, the, the, the video will be uh, uploaded after the session so you can re watch it anytime you want, okay? So if you're having a okay. problem with the internet, you can watch the, the session anytime later. Uh, you also learn about fluorescence, which means it glows in the dark, or you can say in the UV light. Okay. This is what we mean by fluorescence. That some minerals can glow when exposed to the UV color. Some of you guys asked, what is a UV, UV uh, light, which is uh, an ultraviolet Blue. light. We cannot see this, this light. We cannot see after the, the, the violet colors. So Miss, uh, what does it we mean consider glow? it a dark, yes? What does it mean to glow? Glow, like the picture in front of you here. So if we stopped it at this point, you will see a regular rock, a bale one. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. But once it's left in the dark, it will glow like this one. Can you see now? It will make lights. Yes, changing. Yes, changing its colors. It's glowing in the dark now. That's what we mean yes. by fluorescence, OK? Um, and this is also another example. You can see the difference between the two rocks in front of you. Uh, the last uh, property is having electric charge. And we said that quartus, for example, can, can have this potential or this uh, property uh, of creating an electric charge when it's under pressure or applied to heat. That's why, guys, the people that used to make uh, fire with the, with rocks, they used to um, scratch them uh, or rub them okay. against each other so they can, you know, add heat to uh, each of the minerals so they can create electric yes, charge and then, and how, then the electric charge will cause they, fire, yes. How when they get... Uh... When they put two rocks against each other and they scratch them, sometimes they make fire. Yes, that's what I was saying. Um, yes, the electric charge. The electric charge actually causes some sparkles, and these sparkles will add fire, will start fire. I'm sorry. Miss, will we answer study sheet? No. Yes, we'll do the worksheet right now. Um. So, do you guys still have any questions about this part? No, thank you. Okay, so you, the main idea about this yes. one is that you learn that there are visible properties such as... Yes? Uh, what, why the minerals scratch? I'm sorry, yes. Reem, I can't understand your question. Why uh, some minerals scratch? Can be scratched? You mean can be scratched? Yeah. Because they are soft, we learned that in the hardness part. You learned that some uh, minerals can resist being scratched. They are hard enough to uh, resist the scratch. So that's why we have this most hardened scale. It starts from 1 to 10. 
One is the softest. This can be scratched easily, even with a fingernail. Two, the hardest, which is diamond, that can scratch all of the previous uh, minerals in the, in the scale. Okay, so why a mineral can be scratched? That's up to its property. Is it hard enough to be, to be scratched by your fingernail, for example, or, or is it hard enough to be scratched with another mineral? Or is it so hard that it can only be uh, reshaped by laser like diamonds? Okay. Okay, Reem, do you get it now? Yes. 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 You guys still have any questions? We have Hannah Sultan raising her hand. Yes, Hannah, do you need anything? Hannah, can I open the camera showing you something? Yes, you can do that. But just let me stop sharing so I can see your camera. Wait, Hannah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. Let's just stop sharing. Yes, uh, so I can see Hannah. Hannah wants to show us something. Wait, yeah, wait, Hannah. Good. Hannah, can you show us your camera, please? One minute. Yes, just wait so your friends can see it. Oh, that's nice. What mineral is that? Do you know what mineral is that? No. Yeah, some people use it to get all the negativity out. I don't know if it's true or not, but like some people believe in that. I found it in the street. Yeah, it was beautiful. Did you try to see it in darkness? Maybe it glows. No. no. I'll try this one, and if you uh, found anything glowing, you can share it with us next time, okay? Okay. Now we'll start with the, the work. Uh, the worksheet guys if we didn't find uh, finish the worksheet today we will continue tomorrow okay 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 can you see my uh, screen now yeah yes yes okay let's start with the first question guys of course raise your hands if you want to answer this one we'll start with Tanahi the Miller scale uh, Dijon scale Curly scale Mo scale measures how hard mineral is the uh, Miller. Really? Did we call it Miller? No, no. No, Miss, can I say please? Yes, Am. Can you answer this one? No, I am a Yes, it's most hardness scale. Yes. Well, yes, guys, I I'm was... having a problem in 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 recognizing who's talking. Okay, so please just do not talk without permission. Then, okay, are yes, they answer Miss, number uh, two? Uh, are they? Would you like to answer number two? Yes. Okay, all day. Um, luster streak uh, fracture is the color uh, of powdered mineral. A streak? Streak, yes, that's right. Thank you, all day. Number three, we have Yasin Doini. Yasin, would you like to answer number three? Is how easily something can be scratched. Scratched, yes. Specific gravity, luster, or hardness. Lost. No. no. Can you see this what word? Is... Scratched? This is the answer. Hardness? Yes, hardness. How much it can resist being scratched. How easily it can be scratched. How hard it can be scratched. All of those refer to the same word, which is hardness. Okay? Number four, we can you um, ask Hannah Sultan. Would you like to answer number four, Hannah? Hannah Sultan, would you, like, would you like to answer number four? Okay. Abdurrahman Ahmed. Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman Ahmed. Miss, are you opening the mic? Yes, guys, can you hear me? Yes, uh, no, I can for them, for them. Yes, I am allowing them to mute and unmute themselves. Anyway, guys, whoever I'm calling and he's not answering, that means he's maybe sleeping or something. So I will consider him absent. Okay, Hannah, you were just with us. Maybe you don't want to answer this question. You can say that maybe you don't know the answer. It's okay. Uh, let me pick someone else. Yes, Miss Noah. Yes, Hannah, where were you? 
I'm sorry, are you, my mom was asking me for something. Okay, can you answer number four? <laughs> number four, the mineral in the picture has a non-metallic, metallic or pearly or earthly luster. What do you think this luster is? <laughs> Yes, Abdurrahman Ahmed. Wait, Abdurrahman, you're supposed to ask uh, to answer question. Me? Number four, again, number four. What do you think this is, yeah, Hannah? Metallic. Metallic, yes, that's right. Thank you so much, Yana. Number um, five, can you, uh, Abdurrahman Khalid, are you still with us? Yes. Yes, would you like to answer number five? Okay. Okay. Cleavage, magnetic or luster, describes how the mineral reflects light. What do you think, Ya yeah, yeah, Abdurrahman? Okay. Uh, no. Do you know the answer or should I pick someone else? Okay, Reem. Reem, would you like to answer number five? Yes. Yes, Reem. What do you think the answer will be? Uh, cleavage. Reflects light. Did you learn about cleavage anyway? No. No. Guys, luster. Guys, you need to study luster. well. Not because we don't have a term exam. It's, it's not like something we can consider it as no studying anymore. If That's not so... Yes, yes, Reem. I'm sorry, Miss. No, it's okay, Reem. But just, guys, you can go rewatch the sessions again if you're not feeling that you want to read from the new textbook. Or you can go check your textbook, Chapter 7, Lesson 1, okay? Okay. So please, guys, try to study next time, okay? Uh, we have uh, Amu. Amu, would you like to answer number 6? Okay. Minerals are... Identified, identified by observing, by ob yes. They, there, how do we identify them? How do we know them? Physical properties. Yes. Physical, Physical properties. properties. Yes, that's right. What does in okay. um in inorganic means? Do you guys think what an organic inorganic means? Is it something that is living, something that is dead but was once living, or something that was never living? Miss, can I see? B. Yes, yes, all day. Uh, can you guess the answer? Um, yes, C. C, yes, something that was never living. When I say organic, it means it's a living thing or something that used to be living and it's not anymore, it's dead. But when I say inorganic, inorganic. Miss, there's word, something in, inorganic. Yes, inorganic, like rocks, for example, they are inorganic, okay? Uh, but fossil fuels are organic things because they were once living things that died, okay? So that's what we mean by, uh, by living and non-living, okay? By, I'm sorry, organic and inorganic. Okay. Okay, so when I say inorganic, it was never a living thing, okay? Okay, number eight, which of the following is not a way to identify a mineral? It's not a way. Okay, let me pick someone else, people that do not raise their hands. Habiba, Habiba, are you with us? Yes, yes Habiba, would you like to answer number eight? Yeah. Yes, which is not, not a way to identify a mineral? Luster, hardness, or heaviness? Hardness? No, hardness is a way, actually. It's a big... I know. Yes, it's heaviness. We did not learn about that. Okay, dull, silky, waxy, burly, and earthly are terms that best describe which property of the minerals. Like when I say dull, silky, burly, what, do I, what I am, am I describing now? Am I describing the luster, the color, the streak, or the cleavage? Yes, instead that. Yes, instead that. Miss, what is the cleavage? You will learn about this next time. Okay.
about the cleavage and the fracture. Yes, the fracture. Okay, so we have uh, Yasin Sadet. Are you with us? Luster. Answer number, yes. We're talking about luster, yes. We learned that we have two types of luster, metallic or non-metallic. These types we're mentioning are the non-metallic. Metallic. Uh, yes, exactly. Like dull, silky, waxy, pearly, and earthy. Thank you so much. Now with the last question, guys, uh, which test is being shown in the following image? If you guys can see the image on the on the right, what do you think this is? What kind of test is this? Is it streak test, special properties, density, or scratch test? Streak test. Streak test. Yes. Isil, Isil. Scratch test. We don't actually call scratch tests. I mean, streak. it's just there to make you confused. It's streak tests. Yes, because she's, she's using a, a, um, a steel nail so she can test the hardness of this mineral. Okay, and that's what we call streak test. Remember when we used to say that we use uh, normal things to test the hardness? If you guys remember, we said yes. we use uh, normal things. We know their hardness, like the glass, the copper coin, uh, the Good fingernail, good. the steel nail. We use these things because we know their hardness in order to uh, test the hardness of other minerals, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, let me go back to the worksheet, okay. So you guys can find this worksheet is a little bit long, but it's easy, do not worry about this. The one that asked about cleavage and fracture, we'll talk about them next time. So we'll continue because we still have about less than five minutes, so we can continue with some more questions. Miss, can I have? Can I? Uh, can I say a question? You want to ask a question or answer a question? Ask a question. Yes, Amu, you can ask the question. And the uh, so this will be homework, yes? No, we will do it together tomorrow. It will not be okay homework. when we when we take Dennis, Miss. Yes. We'll take Dennis to tomorrow. Density? No. No. So when we will take it? Why, why are you asking about density also? Because it's in the choices. In the choices, yes, but it doesn't have to be something you will study about. Sometimes we put things in the choices so you, you guys can get a little bit confused and you just get, you have Miss, to but focus. But sometimes it, you put, some, you put uh, words we didn't take and it's the correct answer. No. No, it's never this way. Maybe this, the question, no, but if the question, this is the true answer for it, I ex um, explain what it means. I just don't leave you guys there without explanation, right? Yes. Yes, so um, do not say that you have some words that you did not learn about it. Maybe you did not learn about it in the, in the, in the lesson itself, but those are just like extra information for you. Okay? Okay. Number 11, physical properties of minerals include all of the following, except, guys, be careful when I say except, not, so sometimes yes. those are the answers. So all of the choices you're having now, okay, are showing physical properties, which is not, which one is not. Let me check people raising their hand in here. We have uh, Reem. Reem, would you like to answer this one? Yeah. Yes. What do you think? Specific gravity. Specific gravity, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, number 12, you can say, uh, Kinsey, Kinsey, you can answer number 12. Which of the following properties does the most scale measure? B. B, yes, it's hardness. Oh, my yes. God. Thank you so much. Yes, it's hardness. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, I see you can answer number 13, and then we will uh, end the meeting for today, guys. Okay, so we will continue from tomorrow. I said, would you like to answer number 13? The definition of mineral does not include crystalline structure, solid, organic, or natural. You can guess the answer for this. Solid. Yes. No, it's not hard. A. But it's like A. A. Well, crystalline structure is what they are made of, like the crystals, and that's something you will guys learn about in lesson two. But it's not the finish. Yes, solid. All minerals are no. It is found in definition. It's found in definition. We have solid. It is solid, organic or natural. So I think the the closer answer to to this one will be the crystalline structure. Why do you think it is a crystalline structure? 
because the crystalline structure it's not a definition in the mineral it's, not... it's something it happens in it in rocks you will find it more in rocks okay Yes. yes, about Not the crystal any, size, like it depends on how, where they were made, whether they're made above the ground or under the ground. So that will determine their crystal mineral. structure, okay? Mm. So guys, now I will have to end the meeting. Do you have any questions before leaving? What's no. homework? homework. Uh, well, it's not a homework. We'll do this tomorrow. So I will upload, no. upload this worksheet. There's no homework today. Okay. I will upload this sheet for you guys, so you have you have to make sure that it's with you tomorrow, so we can resume it tomorrow. Okay, we can continue with solving it tomorrow. Do you guys have any questions before leaving? Um, no. Do you guys have questions? Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye.